Hi, just wanted to um, bring you guys up to date really with some interesting stuff that's been going on around open source marketing. I've been thinking, as always, about the, the, the marketing sector and the more I've been thinking about it recently, the more I'm convinced that internet marketing as we know it is broken. And there's something, there's something core that's really missing from from this whole world and it's it's like we're living in a gold rush mentality so if i don't know if you you're aware of this but one of the the models that we're using quite a lot in open source marketing is this uh, scale from diy which is you know do it yourself then done with you and then done for you All right so um wherever you are in the market you you know for, for different kinds of uh, know-how or marketing information you're going to be somewhere on this scale sometimes it's just a case of uh, give me the free information um, I don't want to pay for it I want it for free I'm going to use it myself I'm going to learn how to apply it myself and that's great sometimes there's the DIY information that you that you pay money for so I'll buy an ebook that tells me how to do something but sometimes you need more help so that's when you get maybe coached courses programs you know, group discussions and, and mentoring and stuff like that. And then finally, at the top end of the market, you've got the situation where you just need somebody to do it for you. You know, it's that important that it's worth spending serious money on. And when, when you understand this scale, it's, it's really kind of enlightening. But the more I think about it, so I'm thinking about when people are at the DIY uh, level that that base level, and you want marketing know-how, okay? So where do you go? I mean, there's loads and loads of stuff out there for free on Google and YouTube and, and wherever. But if if it really matters, then you're in the market essentially for the marketing information marketers, right? The MIM guys, the in information marketing gurus. And I probably don't need to tell you that this is a not a very rewarding place to be. And it's, it's, it's also kind of a scummy place to be because we get, um, there's a lot of manipulation goes on in, in all kinds of ways. You know, fake urgency, uh, uh, exaggeration, you know, people talk about how how great their, their courses are and how much money other people are making, how easy it is and the money's going to be flowing in. And it's all about this get rich quick stuff. And then when the information marketers club together, then you get them endorsing each other's products, you get them being affiliates for each other's products, you get them timing their launches so that they don't clash with, with each other. So that, And all of this is, has one purpose, which is to get as much money out of people like you and me as possible. And then the whole affiliate thing, the more I look at that, the more I think, you know, if, if we all sign up to, to sell somebody's product, if we don't actually believe in that product, it's still because we've got a financial incentive. We're gonna, it's going to encourage us to big it up. Right? It's going to encourage us to write reviews about it that are not honest first-hand reviews. Right? We're doing it because we're going to make a buck out of it. So the, the whole area is very lacking in trust, and trust is absolutely the key. And we have the same thing at the other end of the market. If you need a professional to help you do something, then you're in, then in the market for agencies, web designers, marketing professionals, SEO people, pay-per-click people, marketing automation people, whoever it may be. And it's the same kind of deal. And it's the ivory tower thing. It's to do with all to do with the scarcity of information. They have the information. You don't have the information. They tell you that if you have the information that they have, you would be able to make more money, do whatever it is you want to do more effectively. Right. So that this information that they have is very valuable. And so you're going to pay them to use their skills, use, use their information on your behalf. But guess what? Who carries all the risk here? I know the information marketers will, will 
give you guarantees, a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. But what they, they know is that you probably won't even have tried using that stuff within 30 days. And and if you were to try and claim on that guarantee, then you'd have to admit failure. So you know, it doesn't work. Right? People don't claim on it. The guarantees are there because they know that that is going to help you push that button and put in your credit card information. And at the other end, at the DIY end, when you've got agencies and marketing professionals, who carries the risk? It's not the marketing professionals. It's you again. It's always the buyer. The buyer takes the risk. Now, this is the problem with a gold rush kind of mentality. It's all new. It's exciting. It's changing. There's loads of opportunity. You know, we, we all need to get really excited about it. And But the bottom line is, there's no trust there. There's really no trust. You know, so, so what we end up with is a situation where we don't really trust anyone. So we have to take a bit of a risk and it feels like a bit of a risk and you can kind of feel it in your heart when, when, you, know, when you decide to work with somebody. And the bottom line is this, it's not in any of these vendors' interests for, for the world to be educated about marketing. Right? They need to maintain that scarcity of information. They've got it. You haven't got it. And, you know, why would they? Because they're making easy money. They really are making easy money. I've run several agencies and I've sold courses. And I have to tell you, it's easy money. It really is. You know, and there's very, very little risk. Um, selling information products is, is cool. You know, having uh, memberships is, is great. And, you know, selling websites to people for five-figure fees is, is really quite easy. And there's very little risk involved in, in any of it. However, the problem is that, you know, people are getting ripped off all over the place. So, I think we should do something about it. I think it's time that we injected, we put the trust back into internet marketing or into marketing in general. So that's, that's one of the things that open source marketing sets out to do, is just to say, okay, well, here is marketing best practice. We're going to write it down. We're going to publish it so it's freely available to everybody. And because it's a system, then we can test it. Everybody can test it. We can you know, try using the system over and over again. If it doesn't work, we can improve the system. Right? So then we get Kaizen. We get continual improvement kicking in. And the open source marketing system then gets better and better over time. But, you know, that's great, but it's only part of the solution. Because there are, you know, there are those of us who, who don't want to go along and get a DIY solution. You know, if, if you're spending six days a week building your business, you haven't got time to master open source marketing. You haven't got time to master marketing. So there's always going to be people who need a done with you or done for you solution. So if we stopped at just systemizing the marketing process and making that open source, which is, which is great and it's a huge, mind-blowing, ambitious project, it still wouldn't be enough. And there's a lot of other people um, that, that I'm talking to who, who want to use this for clients, they want to use this commercially. They want to say, yes, I'm an open source marketing marketer. I'm a professional, I use this. And, and to be part of a community like the Linux or WordPress or MySQL or, you know, whatever, Joomla communities, all people who, you know, where we've got a big industry built on an open source platform. And open source marketing is just that, it's a system, like a software system. So, this is, this is what we're looking at. <clears throat> and we're actually looking at creating a total of three systems, right? First, you've got the open source marketing core system, right? This is the marketing method, the models and processes that we use, right? And that's, that's coming along really well. Then we've got, we've got two other things that we want to do. And one is to create a, a professional training course. So for people who want to become open source marketing professionals, um, and if you've read Web Design is Dead, that talks a lot about um, strategic marketing 
or being a marketing strategist. And that's really essentially what we're looking at because at, at its core, what's missing from most of the practice of marketing is this strategy piece, right? It's got a hole right through the middle of it. There's loads of people who can help you with your, with your graphic design or your copywriting or your pay-per-click, your traffic sources, your conversion stuff. But at the core of it is, well, what are we promoting? Why do people want to buy it? And really get absolutely clear about that. And then what we find is that your, your, your marketing tactics actually roll out really easily. Now, there's very few people trained in that strategy piece. So that's one of the things we want to fix. So we want to create an open source marketing um, professional training. Now, because it's material that can be recorded, that is going to be free. It's going to be free and it's going to be open source. So anybody can go through that training. Right? So we're going to start building that from, from now, really. Um, there may then be, at the end of that, a certification process, which would probably not be free because that, that would require probably a kind of practical um, projects, you know, actually have to work that through with somebody else so they can uh, work with you, check your work and, and so on. But anybody can take the training, right, all the way through. And the third thing that we're looking at is really pulling down the ivory towers around the agency model. We want to overturn the marketing professional model, how that all works. Right, whereas a client, you walk in and they ask you a few questions and you have to sign a big old check. Then they do the work, you probably sign another check and then they, go, they, they may go away and you're left holding all the risk. And I've wanted to do something about this for an awful long time. But, you know, much as I've tried with my inner circle group o over the years, we haven't really been able to crack it. And it wasn't until we had this platform over the open source marketing system that, that we really thought that, um, that, that we can you know, put something down that, that's really going to work and is going to be repeatable. Uh, so what this is going to be is something like the open source marketing client service system and this is something that professionals can use and professionals can use in a network in collaboration like a collective more than a, an agency which tends to be hierarchical kind of top-down thing so um, I'll just give you a little bit of, of an outline about it one of the core differences that that we're looking at is that this almost happens without selling Okay, so you don't actually need salespeople as such. And the reason that it can happen without selling is that it's not going to be fee-based. Right? So it's not going to be a case of we, you know, we as professionals give you, the client, a proposal to say this is the cost of what we do. Right? Instead of that, we're looking at a revenue share model. So it almost then becomes the client pitches their project to the professionals, to maybe an individual, maybe a group, maybe a whole network of people. And um, so, so it might work, for example, you, you draw up an agreement so that for, for 12 months, you know, very little money has to change hands at the beginning. You're going to build something together and a certain percentage of the profits or have, you know, have money changes hands when for all the leads you get or whatever lots of different ways of working it out and we're going to hammer all that out as part of a new system right but the team the marketing team gets paid when the marketing works they don't get paid because the client is led to believe that they can get results they pay when they get results Right? They, they get paid when they get results, and the client pays when they get results, but the client is paying out of the, in, the increased profits. So it's a complete win-win. What this means is that clients can get off the ground faster right, without having to come up with 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, however much it may be. Right? So they can approach the professionals. They agree to work together. So it's much more like... The marketing professionals become like investors, but they're not investing capital, they're investing intellectual capital and skills. 
Right? So if, you, if you've got a great idea and it's going to fly and it should be built and it should be developed, we'll develop it. And we will all benefit over time. And that also has the benefit for the professionals of kind of balancing out this feast or famine model. And the feast or famine thing is, you know, if, if you're sending out five-figure invoices to, to clients, then you, you're either stacked with work and, and cash rich, or, but you, you know, you can't keep that work coming in in the same way. So the tendency then is going to be for you to push up your fees so that you've got more of a surplus to see you through the times when you finished one project and haven't started another one. Anyway, so that's, that's the general principle of the open source marketing client service system. Um, we are starting to, to figure it out. And again, that's going to be open source. Right? You will be able to come along. If you want to be an open source marketing professional, you can do the training course. Right? You can study the open source marketing material from the, the core system, do the professional training, all for free. You can pick up the client service system, also for free. You can implement that yourself. You can get some buddies together. You can create your own network. You can create your own kind of non-agency, if you like, um, com completely for free because this is information that we can figure out, systemize, write down, and improve over time. And the more people that use this, the better it's going to get and the quicker it's going to get better. So that's my quick update. There's no call to action at the end of this. I just wanted you to know really what's, what's going on because it's really exciting, quite overwhelming almost. Um, yeah, and you know, email me back if, if, if you're inspired by this, if you think that now is the time that you would like to get involved with this, then, then great, email me and we'll have a chat. Um, otherwise, just watch this space. Thank you.